to be and remain happy, we need to love and be loved. To do that, we play games. Therefore, there are two tools that we constantly use in which we all inherently have, they are virtue and power. Just like yin and yang, virtue and power are not necessarily different things. They are the same things on the opposite sides. We utilize both tools to regularly establish and maintain our love and happiness between one another over time. We establish virtue from our feminine side while establish power from our masculine side. Despite their differences, both ends need one another. Furthermore, we earn virtue through spiritualism but we have power through materialism. However, we will achieve spirituality if we utilize both virtue and power with just the right amount of spiritualism and materialism. This is because having both power and virtue will reward us with the highest form of love, respect. Even so, the inferior entity tends to use power to earn virtue. On the other hand, superior entity tends to use virtue to earn power. Using power to earn virtue will often backfires because it requires one to violate social contract and universal belief that are inherently deep ingrained within every one of us by default, love. When it is being violated, we need to fight against it using higher power to re-establish and maintain our love. This is what justice is all about, using power against another power to maintain our spirituality that are made up of various forms. On the flip side, However, using virtue to earn power are encouraged in society because it spread love and happiness to others before one gain any status from whatever endeavors that one is in pursuit of. If one can balance one's pursuit towards achieving both virtue and power in the right way, one will achieve the status of being a true giver through the act of genuine giving.